Walking Dead Season 5, Episode 8, Coda. This is a very tragic uh, mid-season finale. It's very unfortunate we lost Beth in this episode. It wasn't remotely what I was expecting. I figured something bad would happen. I thought it would just be like a very tense firefight. That's what I was really hoping for. And watching the episode, I thought, okay, it'll be fairly simple at least. It's, you know, it was oddly simple. Like, it was very simple. It was like, all right, we have the two people you know, Rick had to take out the one guy who ran, and I don't know why he thought it was like, you know, he kept running after Rick was like, stop, and once that engine was revving, I was like, I would have, I would have sounded like a car breaking junk, I'm like, all right, I'm done, and that would have been it for me, but, you know, Rick had to take him out, and I don't know why he used a bullet on him, that seemed um, a sort, of, sort of out of place, but at the same time, it's one of those things he does when Rick is kind of like at his tipping point with a person, it seems like he disregards everything, and that's something I think I've seen a couple of times. It was like, as useful as bullets are in the apocalypse, and they talk about this, it's one of the big things, and pretty much anything zombie-based. It's like, you know, save your bullets, use knives. But when Rick is at that point where it's like, I'm just mad, like, all you had to do was stop. I'm like, I'm in a car. Like, your car, it's a cop car. It's going to be fast enough to catch you. Like, I told you three times, just stop so we can do this thing. We just want our people back. You can go back. Simple. And it's like, you know, you pushed me to a tipping point, had to hit you with the car. Now I just got to shoot you in the head because you made me so mad. And it's just, it's, it's one of those things that it's always fairly subtle with Rick, but it it seems to happen a lot more. It's just the situation they're in right now. He's kind of been pit against, like, you know, um, the people from Terminus. And it's like, well, they're trying to kill us. We got to take them out and, you know, don't bother stabbing them after they die. Just let them turn and stuff like that. He's been put in these situations really quickly where it's just like one after another he's just like i'm at my tipping point it almost happened in the last episode too with the guy who's fighting against daryl and he had the gun on him for like 30 seconds it felt like and daryl just had to calm him down like just you know three is better than two but i enjoyed that and we also got a really good moment between sasha and tyrese where tyrese tells her like one of the people from terminus he knew who he was because he had the chance to kill that guy and he didn't and it's like, you know, I think about that all the time. And I kind of think back to when we were a little kid and he used to follow me around and do every single thing I did. And I think we're affected so much because we're still who we used to be. And it was really interesting to see Sasha. Like, she's had, like, a huge leap in character development since um, her relationship with Bob and unfortunately losing him. And that's kind of made her development go down a much darker path than it was when they were just... You know, like, oh, they're the new couple in the group. It's just, like, the comedy. And Bob was definitely one of the comedic points in the show. And now that he's gone, it's like she's going down this darker path. And she even says, like, you know, it's great that you're the same person. Because, you know, Tyrese can still be a powerful person even though he doesn't need to kill. And I think she feels like I can't be that way because, you know, physically it's not the same for me. And you know just by looks you know you would kind of look at Tyrese and be like oh it's this giant guy who could be a real threat and then you look at Sasha and it's you know it's very different because she's skinnier and stuff like that she's a skinnier woman so it's interesting how she has that dynamic and you can just tell in their dialogue like it's more than just one factor it's like you know you can change or you can still be the nice person but I don't think I can not just because of the physical aspect and all that but the emotional side of things now because she lost Bob so that was a really good little point that we had in the episode and then of course you know everything leading up to the ending it was very tense like I didn't think anything was going to happen when Rick was on top of the um you know parking structure I didn't think anything crazy was going to happen there I did like that scene it was very cool and the one guy like he was talking to the most like the black guy he was sweating like crazy and I, I actually thought that was kind of fun like you could tell how much this guy was really freaking out like I don't you know, I don't have much experience with this. These people seem like they're in, like, military mode or something. We kind of just want our people back, and he's, like, sweating like crazy. And, of course, right when he asks, like, you know, where are your people at? And then Sasha has, like, the um, silenced uh, sniper rifle, which was really cool. And she just takes out a zombie, and they're just like, oh, like, and he's looking around and stuff. Like, I don't see anybody. I like that scene. They were both kind of in this tense situation. Even though they both had guns on Rick, it's like, you know, no one really wanted to die, but... It seemed like they were a million times more nervous, at least the one guy they showed specifically. It could have just been hot, and they were like, let's just show that, because it seems like he's nervous. But, you know, that's just the way it looks, so I actually enjoyed that. Like, they seemed more nervous than Rick was, and, you know, he, you know, even though they could have been killed afterwards, they could have easily just shot him and ducked, and it's like, you know, 
I have to assume cop car are kind of bulletproof so they you know if they're fast enough at least but it was just a really great scene how they were they seemed way more nervous and then we had a really great scene I think it actually took place before that when Beth was actually talking to um, the cop I can't remember her name I can't I don't care to remember now because she really made me upset in this episode but they had a moment and it seemed like things were really gonna go well like they kind of had a small moment of bonding especially during that fight scene and it was just a great scene like her fighting against the one cop he was just in the room and he heard everything that they were talking about and she kind of had to make a move the guy was like you know we grew up you know we were rookies together you know my wife and all this and then they get into a fight and i love the fight because it was just a visceral fight it wasn't like oh they're fighting and it was a cool fight like last week's episode with daryl and the other cop but this was just they're in this really secure place and it's just two people fighting there's no extra distractions like oh there's a zombie coming into this fight there's none of that there were no extra weapons so no blades no guns none of that it was just two people fighting and you know just watching it you knew they were gonna fight to the death that was the fight it was sheer hand-to-hand -hand combat one in per one person is winning one person is losing and the person that loses is probably gonna die and it was just a great fight and then of course Beth kind of jumping in it helps win the fight like even though she got tossed back the, in the first place that ultimately helped them win the fight and she just you know pushes the guy down the elevator shaft and it was a great scene and that's when things seem like you know this episode seemed like it really picked up i was like okay things aside from the church stuff which i'll get to in a second too you know aside from that it was like everything in this episode seems to be going fairly well like the cop thing admittedly it sucks to you know kill people off and it makes me seem like a bad person to say it but it's like you know eh, you know rick killed one cop off but other than that it was just like everything seems like it's working out well they're gonna do the trade you know beth is gonna beth is like officially buying it like after that it's kind of like well we're in it together now and then after that the trade seemed like it was gonna go through really easily and everything seemed like it was perfect it was like okay well everything is gonna work out this is actually gonna be a really good episode where it's not going to be insanely intense things are going to work out it's just going to be very tense watching it because it's the walking dead but i honestly felt like things are going to work out well and then they're kind of just going to have to deal with the aftermath of the hospital or the uh, church stuff later but i was excited for that i i wouldn't have minded if there was no really dramatic moment i think i still would have loved the episode because it probably would have been interesting just because of the fact that nothing crazy happened it was still great because you know they killed off a main character but it still would have been great if things went perfectly and of course i wish they did because it would have been much much better but sadly we did lose beth in this episode it was a very very powerful scene and i love the way they did it and i knew she was going to stab the woman i d honestly didn't expect her to be killed from that like it was you know when it happened i thought she was going to kind of pull the gun on her or maybe like shoot her in the stomach or something where it's like it wounded her but it wouldn't kill her but it was just like boom she shot her right in the head and you know that was it i wasn't expecting that at all and it was just like out of nowhere and of course this stuff with daryl and carol where they were both really upset was a very powerful stuff and you know of course at the end is like you know the whole i guess really like the whole season it's kind of been like you know beth has been gone and you know her sister's kind of just been not saying anything and in this episode, it was like, you know, I, I was going to make the joke initially, like, oh, you know, this is finally, I'm sure a million people are just like, finally, she at least, you know, said her name or heard her sister's name or something. And it seemed nice. It was like, all right, she had a, I personally enjoyed it, like her reaction in the very beginning when she heard it, it kind of seemed like, you know, it kind of seemed like one of those things she had been pushing off for a long time, like it finally hit her and she heard the good news. And it's like, okay, well, you know, my sister's alive, everything's good. And she was happy and you know she had tears of joy and all that and then the end of the episode was incredibly powerful and she was crying like she basically like i love that the fact that she just dropped the gun and she just like fell to the ground that was really well done i enjoyed that scene it was very well acted and of course it was just insanely sad it really sucked but it was a really great um mid-season finale i have no idea where things are gonna go now because everything changed in this episode they lost the church which you know i still want to save that a little for a little bit but they lost the church they lost bath they aren't staying at the hospital of course and i was kind of surprised that they didn't add any other people and even if it ended up being people that would probably end up getting killed off in like uh, once the season started up again 
But once again, we got Noah who came back and, you know, that being a part of the trade where it was so simple, everything was just done. And it was like she had to go for this power play again because she felt like she needed to. Like, I have to have a show of force. And as soon as she was like, you know, I knew you'd be back. That's when it was like, I knew I know that things are going to get really bad here when once she did that. And Beth, you know, kind of looked at her that way. And initially... I really thought she was just going to slap her and that was going to be it. Like she would slap her and be like, you know, you can't touch me right now because we're kind of just in this moment and we've had certain other moments and she would just slap her and be like, you know, that's all I can do to tell you how I feel right now. And then she would go. But, you know, sadly things went a different way and it was just all powerful after that. It was very well done and just, you know, that was it. It was just, that's the end and it, you know, we have to wait until next year. But it was a great, great mid-season finale very upsetting and then we got the stuff with the church of course and gabriel kind of having it where they lose the church he's kind of a huge catalyst now as to where they could possibly go in there of course this season has been really big on kind of tying in with some of the stuff from the comic books there were some references little things in the very beginning and then there were some big things like father gabriel himself is you know, one of the, just one of the big characters and a lot of stuff that they did with Bob, even though he was, it was done with a different character in the comic books, it was, some stuff was just, you know, word for word, and it happened exactly the way it did in the comics, so it, I'm very curious as to where they will take the characters, because this season has been so greatly tied in with the comics as far as how these storylines have gone, but everything's just kind of come together, you know, Abraham's group officially came back, so they're back, and they're going to tell everyone, like, you know, the cure is a fake, and who knows how that's going to have everyone else react once they all kind of get over this, because once, you know, with Beth gone, that's really the big thing, and Eugene not having the cure is kind of just, like, secondhand, it's going to suck, because it'll be there, because Eugene will, you know, still be there to kind of reference the fact that he lied about it all the time, but losing Beth is, like, a million times more important than, you know, the cure not being a thing, because she would still be gone so it was just a very powerful scene and they don't have the church to go back to as their safe haven anymore so they're kind of just loaded up in this fire truck i guess and they're just going to be out you know going somewhere else but i thought it was a great great episode very very unfortunate to see beth go not at all how i expected it but you know it's it's the walking dead you never really know i was kind of expecting that you know leading up to it because it's the walking dead you kind of just assume something bad is going to happen but, you know, honestly, going through this episode, I really felt like, aside from the church, everything was kind of just getting better and better. The, You know, Rick had to kill the guy in the beginning, then they lost the church, and after that, it kind of just seemed like it was all going up, and then we got a really, really tragic ending. But I'm excited for things to start up again next year, and, you know, I don't know where things are going to go, but I'm very excited to see, and, you know, just the emotional aspect of things is going to be very interesting, and I really can't wait to see mostly how like Daryl and Noah are really affected by Beth dying because you know Daryl had that close relationship when with him being the last person who was really with her when everything kind of went crappy at the prison so he had a real connection with her then and a lot of people kind of had them kind of like a shipping thing with those two together and then Noah of course being the reason you know Beth being the reason Noah got away it's like a huge component and him not wanting to go back was of course kind of the catalyst for that but I'm excited for things to start up, and of course, comment below, let me know what you guys thought about this mid-season finale, your favorite parts, your least favorite parts, and where do you guys think things are going to go once things, you know, once the season starts up again in 2015, because, you know, there's just a lot of change right now, so there are a lot of different options, but of course, comment below, let me know, and thanks for watching.